Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Hey, today we're doing another backyard review. This time of the CRKT Ox. Now, the Ox came to me via a Smoky Mountain Knife Works care package here oh, a couple months ago. I've had this guy for a little while and just thought, man, I need to get this little guy out, carry it, and review it. But as you can see here, you got the black glass reinforced nylon or GRN handle. Stainless steel liners. Do have a bit of a backspacer there. Not a whole lot of milling going on for weight reduction. So it's pretty much solid liners. Stainless steel pocket clip. Getting pretty, pretty close to deep carry. Not too bad with the... Uh, profile of the handle you don't have a whole lot sticking out there looky there though recessed clip screws how awesome is that that is pretty cool especially on a budget knife like this and look at the screws in the handle i mean they're all recessed pretty well not bad at all really i'm pretty impressed with this little guy honestly as you can see there you got thumb disc deployment Let's see our centering. What's the centering look like? Centering's pretty darn good on this, on this guy. I know my light's fading quick, so we'll have to get done with this. Like I said, thumb disc deployment. Oh, of course, then I mess it up. It's not too bad, really. It's riding on Teflon washers, but there you go. There's your blade. 8CR13 MOV. I have a spear point blade on there. There you go, the ox. It is a Lucas Burnley design. 1220 is the model number now there is a 1200 model number which is a fixed blade actually a fixed blade aux so that's pretty interesting it looks i mean looks pretty darn similar with the exception of it's a fixed blade vice a folder now we're going to talk about dimensions a little bit you got an overall length of just shy of seven and three quarter inches they officially say 7.68 handle length of a 4.42 and then 3.2 3.25 pretty close three and a quarter inches on your blade length and then your cutting edge is going to be just just shy of three and a quarter now your overall grip length your grip length is pretty much your overall handle length which isn't too bad I mean, if you look there, I mean, you can even cheat up a little bit more. But that's how it looks in my three and three quarter inch hand. Not too bad. Back to the blade a little bit. I really like that spear point on it. Satin finish. Of course, you got your CRKT on the show side. As far as the jimping, to me, the jimping's pretty much, it, it's just there. You gotta do have a little bit of a ramp, but honestly, it is really just there for decoration. I mean, it, it doesn't grip your thumb. But I tell you what, I'm not a huge thumb disc fan, but I tell you what, that thumb disc actually gives you a great place for your thumb to land. So, not too bad. Not too bad at all, really. Um, overall weight on this guy is 4.2 ounces. I did weigh it myself, and that is exactly what my scale said. So there you go. So 4.2, you know, ish. We'll just call it ish. Uh, let's see. Where's my... Oh, here it is. Let's check out the carry. I got my handy-dandy Hank out here. So let's see our carry. So see, you really don't have a whole lot exposed so it's pretty darn deep like i said the profile of the handle helps that out so not too bad not too bad at all pocket clip is pretty good we'll call it pretty good i mean it's just a little you know kind of thin stainless pocket but again the one thing about that pocket clip <coughs> excuse me recessed screws i like that and i really like it on such a budget knife guys you can find this thing for roughly 
right around $15. Now, I will say that SMKW just had them on sale recently for $9.99, and those things sold. They were gone. I mean, they sold quick. I wished I could have got this out before, but I didn't didn't quite get it. So, sorry, guys. It's my bad. But still, 15 bucks for this knife. The materials, the 8CR13. I know 8CR13 doesn't get much love, but at 15 bucks, I mean, come on. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Ergos? Ergos are okay. Um, the GRN is, a, it's a little slick. Let's, you do have the texturing. I mean, you see there, you kind of got that whole kind of golf ball dimpling type texture going on. It's not very grippy. I mean, we'll say that. It, it's just not. It, it's pretty slick. You know, um, the clip, as far as the clip in hand, um, I can, I can feel it a little bit. I mean, it does stand fairly proud, but it's not, it's not too bad. I mean, if you were going to use this thing for four or five hours straight, well, yeah, it might start bogging you a little bit, but just for normal use, what I would use it, nah. Nah, it's not much of an issue. Oh, there you go. Um... Blade looks pretty well done. Now, your thumb stud is obviously in your cutting path quite a bit. I don't really think there's a whole lot you can do about that. Um, that's one of the reasons why I don't really care for thumb studs. is because, you know, if you're using a, like a cami or something like that. I mean, you can always take it off. You can remove it. So, I guess that really is kind of a moot point, I guess. But, I just, I'm still not a big thumb stud fan it's just not my thing I, a, th a thumb studs i'm sorry thumb disc thumb disc i just i don't know it just kind of breaks up the line or something i don't know i don't know it's just i don't trend towards them thumb studs i don't mind but thumb discs this is like okay take it or leave it i mean could you take it off yeah but then you'd have a hard time getting the knife open you'd pretty much turn that one-handed knife into a two-handed knife that you probably still couldn't get open because it lays pretty deep. So you're pretty much stuck with that thumb disc, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Um, the overall, I like the overall profile of the knife. The handle, the blade. I think it's a really... I like the design by Burnley. It's a... It's pretty simple for the most part. The simple blade. Y'all know I... That's how, what I like. The simple kind of spear point, drop point type blade. So... That aspect of it, I, I really do like. Overall, not a bad knife. Especially for that, what, $15 price tag. I think you could do... I think you do pretty good. Nice little beater, toolbox knife, truck knife, car knife. Or you know what? It would make a really... It would make a decent EDC knife, you know? For somebody that, you know, doesn't have Chris Reeves type money. Well, a lot of people don't have Chris Reeve knife type money, but I think you get my I think you get my drift. It's a good budget option, it really is. Um, are there better ones out there? Yeah. Are there worse ones out there? Definitely. But not a bad knife. I'm kind of digging it. So I will drop a link down in the description, guys, to where you can find the Ox if you'd want to check it out. Not a bad knife. Blue. We talked to Blue before. Blue gave it a 7.5. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I, I honestly was trying to talk him into giving it an 8 just for those recessed screws. You know? But he gave it a, he gave it a 7.5, so that's Blue's rating. I like it, guys. Blue likes it. It's a decent budget option. $15 for 8CR13 and GRN. You know, I, I kind of find it hard to go wrong. Liner lock. Oh, yeah. we. What's our liner lock locking up at? I forgot to look at that. I'd say that's probably pushing. That's probably 50%. So, I mean, it's not a hard-use knife. So, in the liners, the liners are decently thick for the size of knife. So, 4.2 ounces for this small of a knife. Um, And I really didn't say 
it's not a bad weight. It's not a bad weight for this knife at all. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't carry heavy. Um, and, you know, that weight will help you get through some stuff, thicker cardboard or something like that. So, overall, guys, not a bad little knife. Check them out. I'll leave the link in the description so you can if you'd like to. Greatly appreciate y'all checking it out with me today. The Kershaw, or excuse me, God, CRKT Ox. Wow. Anyway, guys, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.